Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Blood Asp because it has been recently released for Siebels and I wanted to give you an idea how to play it. We're gonna play the Blood Asp A. Uh, because it has ECM. It is one of the variants that has ECM in the center and it also has a jump jet Which is quite nice for some baseline mobility. It's really nice for getting over obstacles the rest of the uh, Of the blood ass parts are yeah, just omni ports from other variants We have blood ass prime left and right arms and the D right torso and the B left torso What we are doing here is uh, we are running a combination of two ultra AC 10s and six ER medium Lasers this combination is pretty good because the range sinks very well the optimal range of the medium lasers is 400 meters, the ultra AC-10s is 540. So shooting at mid-range with the build is uh, pretty nice and you can deal a serious amount of damage. Especially since um, like the firepower is 59, but if you double tap the ultras it's suddenly 60, no, 79. So it's about 80 alpha strike if you double tap that. Of course again the ECM shields you from the enemy's radar, but you are still an assault mech and rather slow. So think ahead of where you want to be and uh, um, you know, think ahead of where where there's cover, where you have teammates around, because um, a lone assault make, although you have a good amount of firepower, is basically dead. Um, so it's like um, like in, in modern warfare, when you have a tank without infantry around, then the tank is just a smoking pile of scrap. Uh, anyway, the rest is heat management, a targeting computer for targeting time, a little bit of uh, crits and projectile speed bonus, and that's basically it. Um, yeah, if you, by the way, if you are not comfortable with the heat management, you can do something like that. You lose a medium laser, uh, you put one ton of ammo in here, you, or you know what, you can also do just this here. Uh, just lo lose the lower arm actuator and put another heat sink in there and then you have a, a better heat management and you just leave a little bit of damage on the field. But for me, it's just the right amount of balance between, again, damage output and um, heat management and sustain. The skill build looks like this. We have invested into the firepower tree, obviously. We wanted the laser duration and we wanted the uh, magazine capacity and the enhanced UAC jam duration nodes. I'm going for a bit of survivability here and a quick side note, guys. The first game of the video is with maximum survivability and no cool run. The other one is in this build here. So the second game looks like, like looks like this skill build here. I realized that I forgot cool run <clears throat> after playing the first game. Uh, we have definitely the ECM systems because that's needed in order to make the ECM work properly. Um, if you don't have that, you will be able to get targeted from mid range already. So you, you don't, don't want that. You, you want to have the enhanced ECM system so that you can stay in nice mid-range and shoot without being contested so much because the enemies won't get a lock on you. Very important. And then we have the double cool shot and today I'm using a UAV instead of a strike. And that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, the first game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Forest Colony. Now, Forest Colony is actually pretty good, especially with our mech, because we have ECM and it's quite hard to tell where you are in the forest when the sensors are not helping you. I mean, you can follow the trace of the laser beams, of course. You can follow the trace of the bullets that are flying, sure. Uh, but again, in general, for a bunch of people, it's uh, quite hard to tell a uh, friend from foe apart if you cannot rely on your sensors. That's all I'm saying. So it seems that there is nobody at Fader in the capture point directly. And I don't want to go there. Absolutely not. I just want to advance and uh, regroup with the team. Uh, my job is to uh, not go there directly because I would be uh, on, a, on a plate for the enemy to... Um, to just, you know, dine on? I don't know what to say. Okay. There's one guy, there's another guy. 400 meters. Uh, the Viper. We hit him once. The double tap didn't quite work. And I think now we are actually quite... Uh, are we surrounded already? Gotta be careful with the ECM that is running on the enemy side. I mean, we have the same problem as uh, they have, right? ECM being... What the hell? See? Let's go for heat vision. Just, just for a moment. Yeah, heat vision definitely helps. And I'm on the front line. This is actually a thing that I wanted to avoid. Ack, 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 guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a right sweep. Right side sweep. And we fire over that Fafnir. Yeah, this is a heavy Gauss Fafnir. Uh, there's a Fafnir. I wanna kill it. Fox 7. Um, yeah, we have to we have to stay in heat vision, guys. I'm gonna get out of that in a second. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's the Viper. And I should have toggled on arm lock. 
Yeah, we have to kind of focus on something now. Blind shots. Uh, not so blind shots there. Can we can we hit him? No, not quite. I'm also blocked by somebody. <laughs> yeah, so here's the Viper. Better target. And yeah, guys, I know I should really toggle on arm lock because that makes it so that all of my lasers are firing at the same spot. Uh, but arm lock for me is quite difficult to handle because my muscle memory won't work that well with arm lock. Uh, can we pl please kill this Viper? Okay, we go. Wow. No, okay, we cannot. Viper is gonna get out, but you know what? He has no damage potential anymore. He has a dire wolf that we can potentially hit. Let's go with the lasers as well. And we are hot again. That's the drawback of the build. It is actually made for slower engagements. And with so much pressure around. Oh, we have some problems. Some heat problems, that is. No. Can we? Yeah, we can. Hey, we even got the kill. Cool. So, next up. Again, seeing through this all here is so difficult. That's the Fafnir I was talking about earlier. Let's get his um, side torso, if possible. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we are completely on him. Ow! I caught the heavy gauss. And we got him. Nice. I was thinking that he would move. He has a Hellbringer. And something else. Something big. So at the moment, we just rely on the auto cannons. We are, by the way, behind in terms of kills, which is not good. And they have a UAV above us. Uh, we need to get some kills here. Um, what about this catapult? 25% on the ammo. Uh, this stand and shoot thing is not working. Not quite. So, hmm. Again, we need the kills. In order to get them. Oh god, center is open. The Hellbringer, by the way, is actually a good target. I want to drop a UAV just because I want to see if there's somebody trying to sneak upon me. There's an Annihilator now. Oh, that's Bowser. Oh, great. Why is there a Bowser now? <laughs> this is not good. I think I want to try to kill him, though. I mean, if he's off the battlefield, that's a huge threat that is not there anymore. Can you kill the Annihilator? I have a feeling that I'm going to get pushed soon. Side also on the Hellbringer. Okay, so that's down. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We are falling. We're falling apart. Give me that Bowser. No! So close. So close! And if I'm peeking out again without cover, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so hard. Uh, this Blood Asp is fresh, by the way. I think this says that we have lost the video game. Critical damage. I don't dare peeking. I should. Should get something done here. That's the Hellbringer. So, we have no auto cannon ammo anymore. Acquired. Only thing that we ah, can rely on is the lasers now. And with such a critical state, I don't know if we can make it. Here's the Annihilator. That's Mr. Bowser. He's running quad AC-10s. Holy cow. That's the Hellbringer. Acquired. Now it's a Nova now. Mm -hmm. I'm not here. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, guys, I really wanted to help. I can't! I'm the last. One of the last. You are caught, but I couldn't get you. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> okay, I was trying, guys. I was trying big time, but it was not possible. I mean, I had a good spot there. Oh, wait, actually, we are winning the video game right now. Huh. I mean, at the same time, I was holding them off from Theta. And we actually won it through the caps because, again, my people were very eager on capping. Busa <laughs> Baradul. Nice one, guys. Nice. Uh, yeah, good job, guys. G. Freaking G. We lost big time in terms of the kills, in, in terms of fighting, but we won the video game in the end by capping. So thank you, Cappers. We got two kills. We got one assist, 1,132 damage. We got eight components destroyed. And that's the first round, everybody. Uh, Bowser, of course, out damaging in the Annihilator. This guy is so crazy. But yeah, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and Skirmish. And uh, what we're going to do is 
probably taking top, I don't know. Or at least staying on the ramp for a while and uh, do some or lay some suppressive fire. Sadly, we don't have an artillery strike. In this situation here, in this map, in this game mode, artillery is worth so much. Because the ramps here, they are big choke points where a lot of enemies are just standing. And if you can drop artillery right on the ramp when there is a bulk of map, maps, no, max, then uh, you have a good time. Um, also, I was uh, forgetting, or I was having an old skill build and I just fixed that. Now, now, with this build here, uh, or with the build in the first game, uh, you saw maximum survivability and no cool run. And now I took a little bit of survivability off in order to get full cool run. And now we have even better heat management. Look at that. The heat dissipation is pretty good and we can probably sustain ourselves better. Hey, Fanatos, you coming with me? Top? Center? I'll take top. I'll take top. So, um, I want to see if we can suppress those guys if they are coming. Gonna keep a keen eye on the spots here. Honestly, I don't want to be so close, but if it's the thing that we have to do, it's the thing we have to do. I mean, we're gonna get Theta as well. Uh, there was a UAV somewhere uh, over here. I can probably, possibly... No, it's too far away. Oh, actually, I got it. Ah! There's another one. Wait, why are there two? And another one. Okay, two UAVs down. Um, now it's time to help out the... Wow, no, wait a second. What is going on here? That's Piranha. Got him. Okay. Okay. That's one piranha down at least. I, I don't know if that's gonna be uh -oh, enough. But let's see. So we're gonna get the rifleman. Try to get it as quickly as possible. Uh, that was not... Okay, never mind. That was not so good. I didn't intend to shoot my lasers there. Keep it up, keep it up. We need to level the field. Let's get some pressure on those guys. On the dire wolf. Center torso. Center torso on the dire, please. Okay, I'm gonna pull back here. Gonna put up a UAV. Because I don't want to get backstab. Uh, my team is pushing forward now. Great job, guys. Good work. So, keep up the pressure. Forward, guys. Forward. Don't let the Annihilator die alone on the front. It's super important. Okay, so then it's the Marauder. Uh, the Ultraviolet needs to die. Where is he? Dead. And... Mm, it's too much. Too much for me alone. Uh, we need more max. We need more armor. That's the thing. I can provide fire support now, but I have like literally no armor around me anymore. Uh, GTK, can you go? Can you go? We we need some armor on the front. We have none anymore. Get this guy. Okay, we got another kill, and now enemies are coming from behind. That's a raven. Uh, I don't like this. It's a counter push. He's a stick. Uh, enemies behind us. Light max. Shall we go? I think the answer is yes. All right. Six and five. We're actually coming back from this. Holy cow! I hope that I can survive a little longer. Heat vision. I need to find them before they find me. Ooh, ref reflex shot there. We got the kill on top there. There was another guy down here, right? Uh, eight and five. Let's turn back because enemies behind us. That's for sure. We know that they are in that spot. Okay. Um. That's the Raven. No, it's a Cougar. Uh, and yeah, there is a guy behind us. So what I hope is that yeah, this guy is the Huntsman is a stick. It's not a thing anymore. Guys, we actually turned it around. We turned it around. Holy cow! That was great. Cougar down. Last one is the Raven. Oh my god. We just need the caps now. That is it. The comeback. Zero and four. Guys, sometimes you just need to put out a good amount of aggression in order to win the game. Sorry, Annihilator. Sorry that you died there on the front, but your sacrifice won't be forgotten. Your sacrifice was definitely not in vain. Uh, I wish um, some more mechs could have gone to the front line at the same time. But uh, yeah, in my condition, I, I just wanted to preserve the firepower in order to get something done in the late game. <laughs> Anyhow, four killing blows, six assists, three kills damage dealt, 641 damage done, and the 11 components destroyed. That was the Blood Asp with double Ultra Tens and uh, six ER Medium Lasers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, you can go down beneath the video stage. There's a button where you can become a channel member. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.